In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a basic Pushbot POV drive program. A Pushbot is a robot that only uses two motors to power the wheels. The front wheels will spin freely while the back wheels have power. The difference between a POV and a tank drive program are that in a POV program, each of the two motors is controlled by a different joystick on the gamepad. So the first step is to go to Actuator's DC motor and set the right motor to reverse inside the initialization blocks phase. Next, go to the dual option under DC motor and drag one of the set power blocks inside the repeat loop. Next, to go to gamepad and drag the left stick Y and right stick Y to the respective motor. At this point, you can save and test your program on your using your driver station phone. Click on the right arrow and select Drive Program. Make sure when you plug in your game pads that you hold down Start and A to set the game pad to game pad 1 or Start B to set it to game pad 2. Another feature you can add is slowing down the robot when you hold a button. If you do lots of small movement work, such as aligning the robot to pick up a ring in the ultimate goal season, it can be helpful to the driver to have a button they can hold that'll cut the speed in half or in to a quarter. To do this, go to the math tab and drag one of the multiplier blocks to the power and just slide in your right stick Y and left stick Y into the first slot there. Next, create a new variable and title it speed. You can also rename variables if you can't type very well. If you do this, you also have to set speed to a number in the initialization phase. I'll set mine to 1. Finally, add a if do else logic block inside of the loop. Select a select an analogous gamepad button. Analogous simply means that it's either true or false, pushed in or not pushed in. We'll use the right bumper for this, left bumper. Inside of the do, set the variable speed to a number less than one. We're, we're gonna use 0.5, but you can experiment to find the value that works best for you. In the else slot, we're gonna copy and paste that and just set the variable to one. Save and test this program. You can also have fun experimenting to find other valuable shortcuts for your drivers. Maybe have a button that'll make the robot turn 90 degrees or move forward exactly one tile. Find what, where your drivers struggle and where the driving is complicated and see if you can program ways to help your drivers navigate the robot. 